Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. This problem involves 100 red balls, 100 blue balls, and two urns. You distribute all of the balls between the two urns, placing at least one ball in each urn. You then select an urn at random, and you select a random ball from that urn. You win $100 if you select a red ball. What is your best strategy for distributing the balls and what is your best winning percentage? Give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for the solution. So here's the optimal strategy. In one of the urns you place one red ball and none of the blue balls. In the other urn you place all of the remaining balls. 99 red balls and 100 blue balls. Let's calculate the probability of selecting a red ball from each urn. From the first urn, there's only one red ball, so there's a 100% chance that you will select a red ball. In the other urn, there are 99 red balls divided by 199 balls in total. So there's a 99 divided by 199 chance of selecting a red ball from that urn. Since you select an urn at random, each case is equally likely, which means your overall winning percentage is the average of these two cases. This results in a winning percentage that's nearly 75%. It's approximately 74.87%. And this is quite surprising, you have a nearly 3 in 4 chance of selecting a red ball. This intuitively seems like the best answer, but how do we know that? Let's prove the optimality of the strategy. There are two cases to consider. First imagine a distribution of balls which places an equal number of red and blue balls in each urn. There is a 50% chance of selecting a red ball from each urn which means there's an overall 50% chance of selecting a red ball. The success rate in this strategy is worse than the strategy we just described, so any distribution of this kind is not optimal. So let's consider the other case. We'll imagine that we have to place more red balls than blue balls in one of the urns, call that urn A. That means the other urn, urn B must have more blue balls than red balls. B is greater than or equal to R plus 1, where B is the number of blue balls in urn B, and R is the number of red balls in urn B. What's the probability of selecting a red ball from urn B? This is the number of red balls divided by the total number of balls in urn B. Because we have a lower bound on B, this places an upper bound on the fraction. We substitute r plus 1 as the lower bound on b. We can simplify this to be the fraction r divided by 2r plus 1. If we take the derivative of this function, it is always going to be positive in its domain. This means r divided by 2r plus 1 is increasing in the variable r. In other words, the more red balls we place in urn b, the higher the chances that we'll select a red ball. At most, urn b has 99 red balls. This is because we need to save one red ball to place in urn a, which has more red balls than blue balls. So at most, this fraction r divided by 2r plus 1 can have a value of 99 divided by 199. This is the value if we substitute r equals 99. So we know the probability of selecting a red ball from urn b is at most 99 divided by 199. And naturally, the probability of selecting a red ball from urn a has to be limited by 100% because our probability cannot be higher than 100%. We exactly achieve these upper bounds in the strategy. We exactly get the highest probability of selecting a red ball from each urn. 
and therefore the strategy we described is optimal. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Walker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.